a lot of people think like they look like they're mad all the time and they're not. That's just what a, that's just what a silverback grill looks like, whether it's here or in Africa. Brian Acone, Senior Vice President for Animal Sciences, animal welfare portions of it, nutrition, behavior, as well as our field conservation programs, uh, is all part of uh, my teams. We just saw Charlie there, yeah, he's a good looking boy. <laughs> so Charlie is a male silverback gorilla, uh, and he has been with his brother Curtis uh, since they were born. For many years, we've actually had two troops of gorillas. We've had a, a family group. So Jim was the silverback, and then Tinga was the, the adult female, and then Whimsy uh, was her offspring, or their offspring, I should say. Uh, and so they are going down to, to be with another female and form a larger troop uh, at Jacksonville Zoo. So we work with, a, with what are called species survival plans, and what those are is those are managing the populations of gorillas or lions or tigers, they're managing them as a group. So our animals along with the animals of other association for zoos and aquariums that are accredited facilities, we manage all those as a group. And so they look at the populations and what they're trying to do is determine the best genetic matches in order to maintain a sustainable population of these animals. Those recommendations are happening all of the time. So we are regularly you know, assessing populations, making breeding recommendations, and then moving animals to different institutions based on what those breeding recommendations are. All of these things happen naturally. We're just managing it in a very direct way such that we have good and sustainable genetic populations of animals. Our number one priority is to make sure that these animals have great welfare, that they're happy, that they're doing well.